Usually, I don't post. Usually. Ah, uh, hold on. Why is it busy? <laughs> Why is it busy? It's three in the morning. <laughs> Four in the morning. I'm gonna hurry up. This is adorable. We're back at RDU Airport. This is where I first flew alone way back when. And now we're here. Okay, so the last clip is me. I was filming on the outside of the terminal, like before I walked in. And I was looking through the windows and I was like, this is, it's 4 11. This is a 5 a.m. flight. In my head, it was gonna look very not busy. When I looked in, it looked crazy busy, and I was like, my flight leave in 10 minutes. I didn't come with no time ahead, because why would I? Why would I? So, I was a little panicked. But when I came in, I realized they were funneling people all in one, so it looked like there was a line, but the TSA wasn't actually wound up. So we're all good. We made it here. We're headed to Atlanta today. Let me introduce myself for real. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle Marie, back with y'all with another video. We just made it to Atlanta. We're waiting for the Uber right now. Today, you guys are gonna spend the day with me as if you're on my private story. As if y'all are my, like, if it was on my private story, this is what it would be like. It's gonna be that kind of vibe. Kind of goofy, kind of fun, because we have a fun day ahead. Really actually don't have a plan, so let me stop acting like I got a plan. But let me get to the crib. Let me catch this Uber and we'll see how the day goes. We made it. Welcome to my crib. Do you guys want a room tour? Because you've been in here before I went on my London trip in that vlog, but I didn't really show you around. So let me give you a little tour. Here is my door, the light switches. Here's my bed. Here's the unfinished bed frame. There's a cute little window. Here's all my stuffs and there's a closet over here. Cutesy. She goes back that way too. Here is my bathroom. Here's my bathroom. Here's the other my bathroom. This is the shower curtain I bought last time I was here. We'll put her up. We'll put her up while we're here this time. We'll get her in action. I'm gonna catch some Z's because, because I don't know why I decided to get such an early morning flight. Like, I think I'm never gonna do that again. I'm never gonna do that again unless I have to. That was kind of unnecessary. Like, I was like, oh, let me maximize my days. Maximize the time I'm here. Yes, but no, because now I'm gonna sleep. So I would have woken up the same time as I would have landed if I got a later flight. You know what I'm saying? Good night. <laughs> Bro, I have a freckle in my eye. Right there. My eye doctor said it was a freckle, but like I feel like no one else has ever said that they had a freckle in their eye except me. And when I tell people that, they're like, you sound crazy. So if you have a freckle in your eye, let me know, because we could be twinsies. I just got water in my eyes, but good morning, everybody. Let me dry my face. See, this is why I don't take naps, and this is why I should have just thugged it out. It's 110. I went to sleep at like 8 30. But that's okay. I was informed that there's food downstairs, and your girl likes to eat, so we're gonna go get some food. We have jerk chicken, and rice, and beans, and plantains, which is my favorite food. It's the fact that that song. Which one is the light? Which one is the light? Regular light. It's the thing that that song, foreplay. Um, things go through my mind when I'm by myself. It's you. Things go through my mind. That song came out in 2016, and. I'm so late. I just found out that it came out like this year. Like I just discovered it like this year and I love it. I love it, it's so catchy and it's in my head. And I don't know, I don't know how I just found out, but I love it. 
This is so sweet. She laid out a whole little set for me. That's so cute. Oh, that was a little one. You're such a law for rice. Oh my God, it looks so good. It smells so good. I think that this is the jerk chicken. Is the chicken in here? Oh. There's some beans. Beans. And the plantains. Look at my favorite part, bro. Oh my God. Oh. It's literally jollof rice. Like I'm over here looking for like rice, like what? <laughs> oh wait, I'm so funny. Does anybody else do this? I always, <laughs> when I put something in the microwave, I literally pull it out on one every time. Like I never let it finish, I always pull it out on one. Like I, I watch it and I never let it beep. Or I try to never let it beep. And if it's like a long time, I'll like go do something else and I'll try to like time it out and like be there at the right time. <laughs> but here are the eats. I'm so excited. The flavors are melting in my mouth. And I love when there's food like this because my favorite food in the world is rice and sauce. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but rice and sauce is my favorite food in the entire world. My friend just texted me, Michelle, I got some tea. See, I don't know I gotta call her real quick, but hold up. <laughs> I realized though, it's like three. It's like three, so I wanna shower and get ready for the day because I need to seize the day. I'm not about to waste the day that I lent her. Not doing Atlanta things, you feel me? So let me let me go wash my butt in the shower. Y'all are not gonna believe what just happened. Okay, so I just got ready for the day. I'm looking at different restaurants, like finalizing the area I want to go to. And I was thinking, oh my goodness! Originally, before I had planned this trip because this trip was really last minute in Raleigh, I was supposed to go see a comedy show tonight by a comedian that. I enjoy, I will listen to her podcast. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go see the show on Friday. So I'm, I'm looking up comedy shows and her name pops up for Atlanta, not Raleigh. And I'm looking at it and then I look at the dates. Today she's in Atlanta and um, she's supposed to be in Raleigh on Sunday. So I had messed up the dates in Raleigh the whole time. So now I'm gonna see her today in Atlanta. And I was under the impression that, oh, I'm not going to be able to go to the show, blah, 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 blah. But now I can go to the show because I'm in Atlanta, so now I'm going to go. That's so exciting. Let me, let me book the ticket. And the way it was showing up is there was one ticket left. Like, this is meant to be. This is meant to happen. I'm back home since, hence me being back home. I'm tired, so Michelle, fill them in in the morning. Okay, don't forget. This almond milk is actually gas. I've never seen it before, but for almond milk, you know how almond milk is sometimes like watery and like just more watery if you compare it to other non-dairy milks. This one comes through, so get on it. It's the way I don't know where anything is in here for me. Cause I'm opening every drawer to try to find a freaking spoon. down bad. Do you guys use a big spoon or a little spoon or a baby fork or a big fork? I always use a baby spoon. I'm a baby spoon girl. Quick debrief, okay? Show, last night, immaculate. 10 out of 10. It was meant to be. I was meant to be there. I laughed. I had a good time. I took myself out on a date. If y'all haven't been taking yourself out on a date, make sure you take time to take yourself out on a date. I've noticed that I used to really enjoy doing things alone. 
and in the past few months i've kind of pulled back from that and been more socially anxious my social anxiety has been on 10 but i think that's just because i was out of practice once i start going out on my own the more and more i'm cool like you know what i mean you just gotta do it this cereal is mad good like definitely slept on how do y'all be fixing this because look this is not cute why it twist out like that BJ's and my camera's about to die, so I guess y'all won't get a little BJ's adventure. I didn't bring another battery. <laughs> we hoping my camera don't die on me, but we came to one of the Truett's like fancy Chick-fil-A where they have all the extra items. And I think that's so cool. So I want to see what I can get. That's like really fun. They have the chicken minis. They have the chicken and waffles. Okay, I got the soup tomato souffle, little cornbread muffins, and I got the chicken and waffles, and look how cute it is. It has a little Chick-fil-A thing. Of course it has chicken. Beasted. Except not because I put some of it into the box, but that's not the point. It was pretty best. But overall, it was a cool experience. I don't know if it's like, it's Chick-fil-A. Like, I don't know if it's that. I wouldn't come here for a waffle. I think it was a good experience, but I wouldn't come here regularly if I lived here regularly. We're going to the World of Coke, the Coca-Cola Museum. I feel like that's fun, it's cutesy, it's very tourist-esque, but I love that for me. They just showed us a glorified, really long, like seven minute Coke ad, which is kind of adorable, I guess. Now we're actually getting into the museum part, which is kind of fun. It's kind of cool in here. the astronauts drinking on coke in space that's crazy but where is it this is the best lemonade i stand on that they had all the different kinds of sodas from all over the world that you could try i tried the one from italy the beverly one that's probably the most nastiest thing i ever put in my mouth it tasted bitter like after everything all sweet it was cool and it tasted so bitter it just wasn't giving what it needed to give like at all okay y'all we made it out of the out of the little museum I want to try peach cobbler factory for the first time. I got not peach cobbler. How are you supposed to tell? Oh my gosh. I'm the only person that got apples because apples are better and I stand on that. Okay, let me real life get right with y'all. They actually didn't end up having the apple one in there. So we went back inside and got the apple one. Back at the crib now. It smells so good. It's basically just apple pie in a cup. It don't get better than this. Apple pie, the best pie of all time. I'm gonna stand on that. I love apple pie. I love just apples. Like, apples as dessert is a bus every single time. I'm not a, a gift shop kind of girl. I'm not someone who usually buys like things from gift shops because I feel like I never usually use them or find them like productive or like they seem like a waste to me most of the time. But I did get one thing, well, two things from the Coca Cola Museum. I got this tea, just like an oversized tea. And it's like a, a nudie color. It looks white on here, but it's kind of like a, like a creamy color like this. And it has all the foreign, like a lot of the sodas they had from other countries that they have that you could taste test on the back. And I thought it was funny because the one that I tried from Italy that I said was nasty is the first one listed on the, it says Beverly, Italy. I actually want to look up what that is, what flavor that was because I can't tell. Okay, so it said that it's bitter citrus and that it's a grapefruit rind is the flavor. But yeah, it was a no for me. And then at the end, they were like, do you want a surprise bag? And it's three things, like three unreleased things that they don't sell in the gift shop or whatever. And it was like $5. So I said, yeah, because I love surprise boxes. Like when I was younger, I used to buy like mystery bags and like things like that. So we're going to open it up. Oh, I'm weak. So it's really one item. It's magnets. Okay, that's cute. They have a Coke, Sprite, and a Fanta. I'll put these on the little fridge or whatever. I should have got the $10 one, but this is the second tier, like the $5. The first one was like $3, $5, and $10. Mm -hmm. Hello. Tap into my TikTok. I don't know. Y'all don't be on my TikTok. Tap into my TikTok. 
I was gonna put up my shower curtain, but I guess I'm gonna do the next time I come here. Like literally, it was just a weekend trip, and I don't really have time for it right now. Like I could, but that is feeling like a lot right now. Um, every time I just make a mess. Like why do I just make a mess? Like I just. Uh, uh. So I'm gonna pack up my bags and we can get off because I think we're going closer to the city and we're going closer to where the airport is, and so it wouldn't make sense to backtrack and come back. So I wanna hurry up and pack all my stuff up. To have it ready so i can go straight to the airport later tonight I mentioned the mess extends to the bathroom like michelle be so for real you can do better than this it's me about a lot of storage on my sd card but i want to show you guys this i got this last time i was here and i left it here i take it back i got it in london but look how cute i'm trying to do a really bad job to show the people it's a little tote bag it's actually a really big tote bag but she's mad cute yeah. Girl, full soccer moment. We're back at the airport. I feel like I'm here really early, so it's gonna be smooth. It's gonna be quick. The TSA line isn't anything too crazy. It's gonna be nice to get in and just relax for like five seconds. Okay, ATL, they got live music going on in the airport, which I absolutely love. I came to this little corner, got my little setup, gonna edit a little bit. Tell me how I forgot that. I wore a belt today, and I forgot when you go through TSA, you have to take your belt off too. And so I'm sitting there, he's there, like struggling with my belt, like <laughs> trying to hurry up and get out of the way. That was like super inconvenient. There's something else I wanted to tell you. All. That's what I was gonna say. I also love the airport because it's like every single person you see is kind of like on a mission, and everyone's on a different mission, and. It's either like the start of something exciting or the end of something exciting or to visit loved ones or to start a new adventure and the idea of all of those people all being in the same spot even if it's like for work or anything like that like you never really know what somebody else's journey is looking like and I think it's amazing to kind of see all those people all in one place like all these people are doing the same thing on the same day working on the same kind of thing trying to get somewhere but thank y'all for coming to Atlanta with me I'm gonna leave it here for now so I can finish editing, catch this flight, get home, all the good stuff. But I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see y'all in the next video. I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah.